Kupsala! An empty room? Very suspicious. Aha! A teeny tiny Christmas gift. Oh, and that means this must be Santa's workshop. We are so far away from getting Bob's jet filtered into the air. At least we can check one item off the list. Super duper fast propulsion. Check. Maybe while these guys build the jet engine, we can work on our ideas for Sparkle Fest. Howdy, whiz kids. Or maybe not. <laughs> How's the rest of our little project coming along? Rupert's workers are turning our flight simulation designs into a real engine. Those guys are weird, by the way. Yeah, where did you hire them? Oh, my helpers have been with me for a very long time. They're very loyal. <laughs> but they can be a little clumsy. Don't worry, Rupert has everything under control. That guy just ate a screw. I'm sure my workers will be done by the time you geniuses have figured out Bob's payload problem. Payload? Problem? Yep. That fancy jet of yours has to carry a lot of weight. How much weight are we talking about? Oh, about 750,000 tons. 750? Thousand tons? That's like the weight of over 3,000 blue whales! Or the weight of 9,000 space shuttles! Or 50,000 Otrosauruses, the biggest dinosaur that ever lived! Hmm. How many Sparkle Fest trophies is that? This will prove that Bob is Santa. This will prove that Bob is Santa. And I am a happy boy. Da da da. Doll dog. Why, bitter? I do not speak the gobbledygook. Oh, you want this? Over my battery drain chassis? Set of give daf told up. Set of give daf told up. Set of give. Nice try, you strange little man. Three up, flip it, flip it. Seven hundred and fifty thousand tons. That's five times more than the largest container ship in the world can carry. And it has to fit inside the jet we designed. Ugh, we might as well give up and go home. Rupert likes that idea. The three great essentials to achieve anything worthwhile are hard work, common sense, and stick to itiveness. That plus some serious lifted upness. Yeah, Bob's super duper fast jet will never lift up with all that weight on it. <gasps> what if the craft didn't have all that weight on it? What if we could levitate whatever cargo Bob wants to fly around the world? Levitate? Yeah, to cause something to rise and hover in the air. And how's that going to work? I'll show you. We use a gigantic electromagnet to create an electromagnetic field that counteracts the forces of gravity. Metal gloves, boots, and helmets. Whoa, 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 whoa. You 
better hope nothing bumps into you during flight. With enough power, the airflow can lift any object, making it levitate. You better make sure you don't have too much power. Acoustic, or sound levitation, uses intense sound waves to lift an object. Admit it, JD. Flying through the sky with a giant boombox turned to full volume is not the most stealthy way to get around. Stealth is only number three on Bob's to-do list. <laughs> Looks like you kids are losers. <laughs> I found it. I found the proof! Proof of what? That Bob is Santa Claus! I think what we have here is indeed proof. Proof that your robot's central processing unit needs to be recalibrated. I think Santa Bob shrinks all the presents. Sure, that would explain how Santa can carry so much in his sack. <laughs> That's ridiculous. J.D., shrinking toys and presents and making them grow back is impossible. Is it? Nearly every person who develops an idea works it up to the point where it looks impossible, and then they get discouraged. That's not the place to become discouraged. So your point is? We need an expert on microfabrication and molecular self-assembly. Richard Feynman is the physicist who came up with the idea of nanotechnology. Maybe he can help. Cup of cinnamon tea, anyone? Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Feynman? Hang on. Call me the great explainer. Everybody does. Perfect. Then maybe you could explain nanotechnology to us? Sure. It's the manipulation of matter on an atomic or molecular scale. As you know, just like this beach is made of infinite grains of sand, everything around us, even air, is made of atoms. Atoms are like the tiny building blocks of our universe, so why not build something else with them? If we had the technology to rearrange these atoms, we could build anything. Wow! It's also possible that we could build on the smallest of scales, like tiny little computers, or tiny little robots, or tiny little anything. That's the promise of nanotechnology, to manipulate atoms to create things so tiny you can barely see them. How did you come up with that idea? I used the Feynman algorithm. You write down the problem, you think very hard, then you write down the answer. Hey, I just had a great idea for Mr. Edison's Christmas present. His name written in Adams. Wonderful. <laughs> but you'd have to find a very little bow to go with it. Okay, who wants to dance the samba? We'd love to, but we gotta go. Bye! Bye. See ya. Uh, I'm afraid I have bad news. Turns out this is just a sugar cube. That's okay, Von Bolt. You still gave us the idea on how to solve the weight problem for Bob's flight. He did? Yep. The jet doesn't need to carry everything that Bob wants to transport. It doesn't? Nope. It just needs to carry a device that uses atoms and nanotechnology to build whatever he needs. We'll call it the Make Stuff Out of Atoms Maker Machine. But, 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 but who will build such a device? <laughs> My young geniuses will. To the lab! A Make Stuff Out of Atoms Maker Machine. It's so brilliant. Why didn't I think of it? Well, who says I didn't? <laughs> hey, kids! 
This elevator over here takes you straight back to the lab. Go on! <laughs> I'll take the next one. It snowed in the lab? Uh, it won't open anymore! <laughs> hey! Let us back in! Bumpo, where are we? Uh, we are not in the lab. We are at the North Pole. Oh, oh no. no! Oh, yes! The North Pole! I knew it! Bob Bolt! Bob's not Santa! Don't go away! There's another episode coming up next. Tiny little ribbons and bows. Smaller than a molecule's toes. Even Tiny little presents for me Even though they're harder to see They can be Best of all Adams, they are everywhere Adams, even in the air Adams, they are all Subscribe to Cartoon Channel.